Hello students, in this video let us see what are azeotropes or azeotropic mixtures. These are the liquid mixture that has a constant boiling point because the vapor pressure has the same composition as that of the liquid mixture. Okay, so there are certain characteristics of this azeotropic mixture. They should have definite composition, they should have constant boiling temperature and definite thing they cannot be separated even with the help of fractional distillation or simple distillation. Is it okay? In simple concept, when you are said azeotropic mixtures, the first thing which should strike your mind is boiling without change. So what are the azeotropic mixtures? These are the mixtures which boil without change in composition. Is it okay? Now, depending on its deviation from the Rolle's law, there are two types of azeotropes. You remember we have done non-ideal solutions in the last video and I have specified you there are two types of deviations, positive deviations with respect to Rolle's law and negative deviation with respect to Rolle's law. Okay? Depending on that deviations, this azeotropic mixtures are of two types. One is minimum boiling azeotropes and the other is maximum boiling azeotropes. Okay? Now, in short, what are this minimum boiling azeotropes? See, when the boiling point of the mixture, if lower than that of any of its components, such azeotropes will be called as minimum boiling azeotropes. Take an example for ethanol water mixture. So, if you know the temperature, the boiling point of ethanol, what is the boiling point of ethanol? It is 353 Kelvin. And what is the boiling point of water? 100 degrees Celsius. That means it is 373 Kelvin. Okay. Now, it has been observed when ethanol is present within a mixture having percentage as 95.5% and water is present within the mixture in the form of 4.5%, then the combination of this, when you see out the boiling point of this particular mixture, it is observed to be approximate 351 Kelvin. Okay, so what you can observe here, that this particular mixture boils at a boiling point which is lower than that of both of the components. It is lower than that of 353, also lower than that of 373, right? Now, such boiling azeotropes are called as minimum boiling azeotropes, okay? The next category is maximum boiling azeotropes. So, this is the mixture whereby the boiling point of that mixture is higher than that of any of its components. So, example you can take in this case is nitric acid and water mixture. If you are taking nitric acid, in 68% composition and water is present say 32.5% okay within the mixture then it has been observed that this particular mixture boils at 393 Kelvin. So let us consider that uh, temperatures the boiling points of this nitric acid boils at 356 Kelvin pure nitric acid okay and water boils at 373 Kelvin. So, what you can observe here? It is 393 Kelvin. It is the higher temperature side, more than 356 as well as more than 373 Kelvin. Yes or no? So, such type of azeotropes which boil at higher temperature than that of the respective components or the liquid components present in the mixture in its pure form, such azeotropes will be called as maximum boiling azeotropes. One more feature which we can observe for this azeotropes is in case of minimum boiling azeotropes, this has been observed that these are the solutions which show positive deviation from the Rolle's law and maximum boiling azeotropes are observed for the solution which show negative deviations from the Rolle's law. Is it okay? Now let us take this example in more clarity to you. Now let us try to understand graphically what are this minimum boiling azeotropes okay so last time we have seen uh, the positive and negative deviation with respect to Rolle's law so let us take an example of ethanol and water mixture and consider the Rolle's law deviation curve so how do you plot there 
we take vapor pressure or the partial pressure across y axis and the mole fracture of the component across the x axis okay now what will be on the extreme left here let us say on the extreme left mole fraction of ethanol is 1 right that means it is a pure ethanol component in the extreme left that means water component here is 0 okay on the extreme right say the mole fraction of water component is 1 that means pure water is present on this extreme right side and what about your uh, ethanol component that will be then 0 no ethanol is present okay now what we are doing we are trying to find out the curve with reference to Rolle's law if the solution obeys Rolle's law we should have got this particular curve okay but however this particular ethanol water mixture shows a deviation from the Rolle's law what kind of deviation it shows it shows a positive deviation okay so what you observe in this case the total vapor pressure is on the higher side is it fine that means what happens in this case if you consider ethanol on this extreme left side okay as you go on adding water to it it has been observed when the ethanol is present as a 95.5 percent composition plus you add water in the ratio of 4.5 percent then this mixture starts producing a maximum vapor pressure okay and that we can show it in this way so it is a highest peak here maximum vapor pressure at this particular point okay now what you are going to do parallel to this we will draw an another graph to understand what do you mean by azeotropic mixture or minimum boiling azeotropes so when I plot this particular graph now whereby I plot temperature across y axis and mole fraction across x axis okay so again I'll keep on the left hand side your ethanol x is 1 and on the extreme right side water mole fraction is 1 okay now as far as ethanol is concerned it boils at 353 Kelvin so I can say for example let us plot this is a point of 353 Kelvin and water boils at 373 Kelvin so say that is the point of 373 Kelvin okay so what has been observed at this particular mixture composition whereby it is 95.5 percent and 4.5 percent with reference to this it shows what will happen when the vapor pressure increases definitely the boiling point will decrease so that corresponding at this particular mixture composition the boiling point is observed somewhere here okay so we get this type of curve for this and this particular temperature corresponds to approximate 351 Kelvin are you getting the concept so you can say here temperature of your ethanol is what was the temperature of ethanol it is 353 Kelvin and temperature of water here is 373 Kelvin however at the maximum vapor pressure you can observe particularly for this mixture composition 95.5 percent ethanol and 4.5 percent water with reference to that composition the boiling point decreases and that is found to be at 351 Kelvin is it okay so such azeotropic mixtures are called as minimum boiling azeotropes right after that let us see graphically what are maximum boiling azeotropes so to understand graphically the maximum boiling azeotropes we'll take an example of mixture of nitric acid and water mixture so let us consider the deviation with reference to the Rolle's law okay so again here partial pressure across y-axis and mole fraction across x-axis as far as far as the nitric acid is concerned so on the extreme left pure nitric acid is present so xn is equal to 1 in this case and on the extreme right hand side pure water is present so xw w for water is equal to 1 right similarly on the left hand side water will be 0 and on the extreme right hand side water your nitric acid will be 0 is it okay next in such case it has been observed that it shows negative deviation with respect to Rolle's law 
if it has been to obey Rolle's law, you would have got this type of curve, but it does not, and you get a negatively deviated Rolle's law. Okay, so this minimum vapor pressure, which you can observe at this particular point, it shows a composition here as 68% nitric acid with reference to 32.5% water. Okay, now next, what you're going to do? Respectively, we will draw a next plot parallel to it. So, I am drawing a next plot here whereby again I am plotting a graph of temperature versus mole fraction. So, nitric acid in the pure form Xn is equal to 1 on the left hand side and water in its pure form on the right hand side Xw is equal to 1. Okay. Next, as far as the boiling points of nitric acid is concerned and water is concerned, nitric acid boils at 83 degrees Celsius. That means it boils at 356 degrees Celsius. Say for example, that boiling point, I am plotting it out here, 356 degrees Celsius. 356 Kelvin, I am sorry, it is 83 degrees Celsius, it makes 356 Kelvin. And water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, that makes 373 Kelvin. Say that 373 Kelvin is here somewhere. Okay, so it boils at 373 Kelvin. Okay, now what you are going to consider at this minimum vapor pressure which you have observed here on the upper graph. Maintaining that particular composition of 68% and 32.5%. What will happen when the vapor pressure decreases, corresponding boiling point will increase. So the curve which we are getting here is in this form. So corresponding to this vapor pressure, we are getting a peak with reference to the boiling temperature at that composition right and that temperature is observed to be 393.5 kelvin okay so what you can understand from here the one of the component boils at 356 other component boils at 373 okay but the mixture boils at 3 93.5 Kelvin which is the highest boiling temperature more than that of both of the liquid components. So such as your drops are called as maximum boiling as your drops or maximum boiling as your tropic mixtures. And what can be the basic reason for uh, nitric acid and water showing negative deviation with reference to Rolle's laws? So that can be due to the attractive forces which are present with reference to the nitric acid with the water molecules. Is it clear? So that's about the complete description of azeotropic mixtures. I hope it's very clear to you. This is an important topic for your competitive examinations as well. So you can just revise the topic again and get more clarity about it. Thank you for watching.